space. Space colonies, to be more accurate. Um, I asked a friend to give me a, a painting prompt, and he said space colonies. That's what we're going to be talking about today. These five separate paintings of space space colonies is the first one i was just like okay I'll, uh, like an arc situation where there's like a bunch of like life pods or whatnot like that was that's what i was thinking about when i made this first one yeah i started off with metallic blue metallic cobalt blue regular blue um and black to make the background for the the spaceship not the spaceship for space then i uh, got my brush wet flicked on some stars and then I got some silver, mixed that with different shades. Well, made some different shades with black and white. And then I made the a, a space colony like thing. It, it looked kind of weird when I was making it, and I just I don't know. It didn't look very even. And then I was like, let's make it more rocket. And then I was like, maybe maybe it's the angle I don't like. And so then I switched the angle, and then it looked better. For a second one, I used some of the same still the metallics that were already on my palette, and then I added in some metallic purple and then some metallic red, and I just kind of wanted to build up these gaseous bodies, you know, these gas clouds that would, you know, occur naturally in space, and then just just floating, just floating. <laughs> And so I really took some time to build up some convincing gas clouds and then flicked my brush with white paint again. And then I built up some more gas because I didn't like that how it was all covered. And then I was like, okay, this one, we're going more, more like a ring-shaped colony. got like a compass gyroscope thing because I couldn't make the angles right well for the circles and so I was like you know what you know what you know what gyroscope <laughs> <laughs> and so for this next one I went with more of like a, like a space colony like actually on a planet and not just floating out in space just waiting to find a planet it's like you found your planet now you're there ye so at first I, I started with a metallic blue and some regular blue and then I, that way I went with a little bit with the cobalt I think and then I built it up made the planet in the background I went in with some burnt sienna and some black to make some hills and valleys and whatnot and then I went in with um I started to go straight silver with the buildings and I was like I can do better than that. I can do better than that. And so I added some of the metallic cobalt to the silver and I gave like like this nice kind of blue crystal futuristic type of color to some of the buildings. And I was like, okay, I like it. And then I added some more rocks into the foreground to kind of push push the city into the um into the background and i was like oh okay you were real cute you were real cute uh, i made another one because <laughs> why not why not keep making them if you're you know if you're on a roll why not just keep rolling downhill and gaining traction and speed and mass and then before you know it you'll just be this giant wrecking ball of destructive creativity who wouldn't want that? <laughs> For this next one, I went with a more kind of like a desert, not terraformed yet type of planet. So I went with like like little people were living in like little domes, little little like little domes over like plants and like little, little tiny cities, and you got your own know, little habitats and it's like you know little domes and then I added a, uh -oh, I had a little astronaut to the, the left side of him. And I, just, I, I just thought it was real cute. And made like the, especially like the reflection of the domes and I just it was like, oh, it's, it's, it's cute. It's cute. It's cute. And for 
this last one. Uh, same friend I was talking to. He had sent me a photo and I was just like, what, are you challenging me? And he said yes. So, I, I accepted. And it took, this one took me almost a full hour to do. The other ones were like 20, 30-ish minutes, probably less on some of them. But this one, it, it took me the full hour, a full hour to get it to look similar to the picture. So I just kept going back and forth with like, uh, sap green, sap green, phthalo green, uh, medium yellow, and then Naples yellow. Naples. Naples? Naples? Anyway, I kept going back and forth in between those to really build up the, the different layers of grass. And yeah, it was a, it was, it was a labor of love. Because I, I did enjoy doing that one a lot. You know, trying to recreate something instead of just going from a, going some loose from a reference and just trying to make something but like trying to recreate something is always interesting on, in how it turns out and um what details are added or what details are, are lost in the recreation it's always uh, it's always an interesting process in, in doing that so those are the uh the five space colonies Thank you for, for watching me ramble about the paintings that I made. If you enjoyed this, um, if you enjoyed my ramblings, then subscribe because there will be more. Uh, or if, um, if you prefer my shorts, I do just post. I post the paintings without ramblings. And if you want to check me out at other places, you can go to <laughs> Tina's Text Fortress. <laughs> TinasTextFortress.com. Um, that's where you can purchase my things. You can see the past work that I've done, or you can follow me on Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, I Instagram. I'm on all of those platforms. Links are in the description. And I hope you uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I mean, if you didn't, then I, I don't know why you got to this point. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching.